Adi, the Iron Hull here, and welcome back to part two of End of Zoe. We are just after getting the serum made and fighting the boss. We haven't administered it yet to Zoe. Uh, we're gonna eat a grub real quick because, mm, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, Hakuna Matata means no worries. So, I brought your medicine. You're gonna be fine. Come on, I just decapitated you. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, she was barely breathing, so that can't be good for her. Alright, here's a question for you guys in the comment Sorry. section. Where are you, girl? Who would you rather have chasing you? A pissed off Chris Redfield? Or a pissed off Joe Baker? Joe? J hey. Go? Leave my family alone, asshole! Oh, he just faded into the mist. He's a fucking Silent Hill monster. Oh, you're gonna get it. Honestly, I'm not sure which would be more terrifying to me. We'll put it down as both. Both are terrified. Damn. This whole place has gone to hell. That's ooh. What the fuck? He's gotta be up ahead. Come on, umbrella, you're not doing a great job. Look at this shit. So much for cleanup crews, eh? Bring out the flamethrowers, bust out the napalm, kill it with fire. Lord knows this old man's gonna have to handle it with his bare fists. What do we got? We got one throwing spear. We got one throwing spear, but fortunately these hands are rated E for everybody. I can already feel the gators popping up out of the water. Okay, we found a save point. I don't think we'll need that just now. The respar our restart area seem to be fairly generous in this game, at least. A crawfish. <gasps> Two crawfish. Gotta admit, crawfish sounds a lot more appealing than the uh, centipede option. Fuck me. Oh, shit. Gonna need another one of these. Gotta give it to Joe. He's a hell of a throw. Come on, climb up. Anything here? Crawfish, grubs, centipedes. He's gonna be disappointed if he survives this and has to leave with Zoe. Cause I don't think she's gonna be down for hunting for crawfish and live centipedes and grubs if she has to survive. Or if she gets to survive. <laughs> Hell, I imagine the first thing, ooh, let's see what's in the microwave. More crawfish, all right, close enough. You know what, we're getting there. We're getting there. No way, this thing can't knock me off this, can it? I mean, I'd well believe it could. I just don't wanna. Alright, it's dead. Run, run, run. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, if you guys saw my Resident Evil 5 playthrough, you know crocodiles and alligators are on my top of my list of things I do not fuck with. Uh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
Christ, they're fucking huge. <sighs> Come on, man. If I get in the water, does it chase me? I don't see it, do you? No, it's over there. <gasps> Shit, is there a second one? There is, look at it. Climb up, climb up! So there was another way up here. Was there anything else over here, though? No. Nah. Okay, so it was just you could go either way, whichever way you felt. You had the best odds of making it, they let you go to. Can I jump in here? <gasps> Can they get in here? Yes, they can! <sighs> Jesus Christ. There's got to be something in that fridge, right? Champion effigy. Oh boy. Oh golly, worth the risk. Sorry about that. Steak bomb. Don't mind if I do. And a crawfish. Huh, interesting. Alright, we're gonna save here real quick. Uh, I don't think we need to store anything. Jack's got like... <laughs> not Jack, Joe's got a crazy huge inventory size. And we definitely want to hold on to the champion effigies. That's 15% increase in power. It's nutty. Oh, it's all slippy. Do not fall down into the gator pit. You know, you we can deal with. You ain't no match for us. Is there anything down there we want to get? I don't think there's anything down there we want to risk involving ourselves with the alligators for. Come on. Come on. Oh shit, there's three of them? Oh yes, I managed to detonate it. Oh shit. Well, the steak bomb seems effective. Can we make more of them? Nope. Well, <laughs> it's a good thing we saved it. Knock, knock. Open up the door. I'm here. Uncle Joey in the house. There's a ladder on the other side of that. There's so many throwing spears, it might actually be worth it trying to get to that one. Yeet! 
Come on, climb. Crawfish and a box of refugee. Nice, nice, nice. Anything else here? Nope. Alright, that one's in the distance. At least they don't seem to want to come upstairs to us. That's good. We got a boatload of throwing spears. What's over here? Mm, doesn't seem to be anything else. Alright, so let's continue en route. We don't want to run on this surface. Yeah, it's slippy. Nope. Uh. Oh shit, there's a runner. Come on, eat it. Dude, fuck the runners, holy shit. These guys we can deal with all day, all night. So long as it's not three of them at once and one of them comes up behind you. But the goddamn runners, they're so strong. Alright, we know what we want to do with that. Trap bombs are basically a get out of jail free care. Get wrecked. Centipede, don't mind if I do. We're just gonna top ourselves off. We got ten critters. Yum 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 yum. Oh, thoroughly unpleasant. All right, let's go. There's a crocodile just waiting for us in the water. Not a crocodile, alligator. I ain't got time for you now, Gator. I can see there's something waiting around the corner for me. Ah, crap. Shit. Alright. Yeah, on an individual level, these things are easy enough. In big packs, not so much. What the hell is that over there? <gasps> A champion effigy. We don't have enough to get it, I don't think. One. Two. I think there's three gators there. You know what? Fuck it, we'll try it. Crawfish. Crap, run, Jack. Joe. Okay, right. We're just gonna have to mm, nibble, nibble, nibble on all of our lovely little critters here. Oh, more chem fluid. Actually, we're gonna save that for a. Hey, there was two more spears here. we can deal with. You we can also deal with, but we're gonna have to do... be 
careful not to slide into the water. Come on. Okay, so it seems like the big sword hand ones aren't actually very durable. They just do a lot of damage. There's something in here? No? It's kind of like a weird observation point. Is there another thing? Any more effigies? No, I think we're good. One, two. They should definitely hire Joe for those ads. Wait, does Uniflu still exist? I have no idea. That didn't go great, but it could have gone worse, so we're going to save here. We should be able to finish this now, I think. This doesn't strike me as the longest DLC in the world. Alright, we got some grubs. You think he'd be able to rip some branches off the trees and deal with them. <laughs> Make some spears or some tools himself. Is there a graveyard in the middle of the bayou? Why? This does not strike me as a place that should be here, but whatever. Tree branches and mausoleums. What a place. Oh, fuck me. Oh, come on. God damn it, heal. I need an opportunity to stop dousing me and shit, you prick. Alright, combine, create bomb. got that set up, we just need him to walk into it. Oh, come on! Did I get him? God damn. It's a good thing we picked up all those boxer refugees or we'd be screwed. This is not a fair enemy to fight when you can only punch him. Come on! His acid attack is like completely random where it hits and where it doesn't hit. Come on. There we go, you big bulky bastard. didn't even leave me an effigy. Come on, man. Probably would have been better to just try and run from that. I should stop fighting these guys and just run if I see one of these doors. It's got to be easier to break through them and leg it than to actually deal with them. Is this a church? It is a church. It's a goddamn sacrifice. Let's, uh, eat a nice tasty snack. Check on Zoe. Jack? What the fuck? Jackie boy! You got some splaining to do. God damn it, Jack! Don't you remember your brother? Uh, 
I think it's going to take more than this to kill Joe. Where the fuck am I? God damn it. No, oh, Joe got out of the situation easier than the bride did. What's happened to you? Wow, he just straight up broke out of a coffin. Well done. Can't go into the water. Umbrella corporations. But it's blue umbrella, so you know they're not evil. I think. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We've been engaged by an unknown bioweapon. Bigger house there. Under attack. Joe Baker hears a literal war up ahead with people with machine guns all firing on a creature they can't bring down. Well, I'm gonna go punch it to death. Wow, that's a lot of people. I'm gonna run by them. I've learned my lesson. I can't break through that. Shit. I'm just gonna keep running. Fuck this place. What the hell is this? Ed what the hell is this? Yeah, I agree, Joe. One of their fancy toys? Advanced multi-purpose tool. Ready for use. Charging. Charge. Oh, yes. Alright, so this is what would happen if you gave Joe Baker the Infinity Gauntlet. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't fancy Jack's odds so much anymore. Oh, I lost all of my equipment. Looks like it's just you and me, Jackie boy. You, me, and my big ass fists of fury. Let's see, anything in here? That's so sad. Zoe Baker, fourth grade. Oh no, that's terrible. Alright, let's do this. You and me, Jackie boy. Ooh, centipedes. I wonder if you could beat him without this gauntlet? Like, it's not something you can take off, is it? Left-handed AGM exoskeleton that increases the wearer's strength. God damn, that is fucking dope as hell. No chance. Do, 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 do. Charge Charge. <laughs> this is the fucking greatest weapon ever put in the Resident Evil game. Why would I stomp him when I can just keep beating his ass with this? Oh no. Alright, fair enough. The game said, but what if you had to punch him? Actually, wait, no, I probably wouldn't want to fight Jack without this thing at the moment, considering I lost the, uh... I lost my, uh, box of refugees. God, I can't break through those things. I thought I would be able to. 
Oh, you can still sprint while holding this thing fully charged. Fuck you, big boy! I don't even care if I took damage from that. It was worth it. It was cathartic. Hey, a champion effigy. Can I jump down here? No. Oh, I gotta go through this. Anything over here? Nope. He's gotta be up ahead. Hey, a little box refugee. Nice. Well, safe to say that trooper ain't doing so well. Oh wow, they really did make a little base camp here. All right, this leads into the Jeez. house. What happened here? It would be kind of cool if all of their guns were around and he was just like, "Ooh, crawfish." We finished analyzing the tissue samples believed to be from Jack Breaker. The cells exhibit extraordinary resilience to an ordinary to physical and chemical damage. The E series mut mutamycete, ah, I can't say that word, secretes telomerase like enzyme through the cell wall, causing abnormal activation of the ERK pathway to achieve forced cell division, quickly regenerating from damaged tissue. However, the repeat cell division quickly leads to breakdown of the intersecular structure, leading to a th leading to the slowing slurry-like effect we've seen observed collecting in the collected tissue samples. Our working hypothesis is it puts down the cells to the hayfic limit. Pushes the cells. Puts this down to the cells reaching their hayfic limit. What the hell is a hayfic limit? Note that the samples of the other family members, like the wife Marguerite, the son Lucas, and the daughter Zoe, do not exhibit the same extreme regenerative properties. The symptoms may differ from the subject to subject. Further study required. Well, I mean, Lucas had definitely had the regenerative capabilities, considering we saw him like, uh. Ooh. I will take these. I will take these. I will take this. You know, I'm just going to take it all. Doesn't seem like there's any point in leaving anything here. Let's see. Product named AGM-78. Developed to assist in the transport of heavy equipment and supplies when worn. The wearer's nerve impulses are detective and synced to the actuator. This allows to exceed 50 horsepower state-of-the-art shock absorbers. Reduce all recoil experience to the wearer to zero. Maximum output is 78 AP or 6,000 RPM. Unit weight, 5.5 kilograms. That's a heavy enough thing to wear on one hand. I mean, I'd definitely rather have it than not have it, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose we're only going to really need probably med kits going into this, so... Yeah, we'll make a throwing spear, too. Who knows? Let's see, anything over here? Man, it's a good thing he was an estranged weirdo living in the... Ass end of nowhere, or he might have been here when Evelyn took Just over. You wait, Jack. And Zoe's coming with me. <laughs> Zoe's coming with me. And honestly, from what we've Zoe. seen of him, we would probably be more afraid of fighting Joe if he was infected with anything than any of the other bakers. Zoe! Zoe! Wake up! Wake up! Sup, G? You piece of shit. You threw Zoe, asshole. He does hit hard, but I think with this gauntlet we hit harder. God damn. Ow. I'll tear you apart. I heard that. Said same thing to me when I was playing as Ethan, man. Don't believe you, though. God damn it, he keeps interrupting me just as I guess they hit off. J 
Jack, you gigantic asshole. Where are you? Jack is really nimble when they fight him. How am I supposed to dodge those ones? Come on, let's go, Jackie boy. This is a good old fashioned sibling rivalry. Come on. This, I hate the fucking chain stun lock shit he does. All right. Come on! It's not the big hits, it's the little fast hits that keep getting me. Come on, big boy. Charging. I ain't hear no bell. It's not the first time I've seen you do that. Alright, nothing else in here, so let's go deal with Zoe. Not the first time we've seen this guy calcify on us, though. You gotta be alright now. You think you'd inject Zoe. it into a patch Zoe. that isn't covered in the white crystals? Uh, wake up, Zoe. Joe, what happened? Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. It's all over now. Go, 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 go! Don't move! Get your hands up! Get down! Oh Weapons down! Weapons down! <laughs> It's all right. You must be Zoe Baker. Who the hell's asking? Chris Redfield. I've been looking all over for you. We're here to help. He's just completely ignoring Joe. <laughs> he feels intimidated by Joe's masculinity. You're gonna be just fine. Gotta love how all the researchers on the site are in full combat gear, too. I was trapped with those monsters for three years. All of them trying to kill me. I can't believe it's finally over. You gotta know. Deep down somewhere, they were still your family. And they loved you. Especially your daddy. Even in his final days. <laughs> we found her. She's a tough kid. Of course. Hang on. Someone wants to speak to you. Zoe! Zoe, are you there? It's you! I don't believe it. You actually made it. We both did. You didn't forget about me. I told you I'd send help. And I always keep my promises. Thank you, Ethan. Well, you gotta give it to Ethan. The man knows how to capitalize on a terrible situation. And it was nice of him to make sure people did actually go help Zoe, considering all the shit she had to go through. 
So, that was Resident Evil 7, End of Zoe. And that's the two story DLCs, so I think that's pretty much everything done, guys. So, I probably won't be uploading any more Resident Evil 7 content, because I don't think anyone wants to see the uh, Party Games DLCs. But, you know what? That was a lot of fun. So, thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is the Iron Hollow, and I'll see you all for Resident Evil 8. Bye-bye!